Hey guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, let us uh, uh, look into the stack radar for today, which are the stocks are in focus and uh, there is a result season as well uh, going on. So we will try to see the what are the stocks will be in focus because of the results and because of some other updates, what are the stocks will be in focus and what is the overall market. Uh, uh, performance in the broader perspective that and all we will uh, look into it uh, deeply before going to that let me give you a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose it is not a buy or sell recommendation guys without further any delay directly let us uh, look into the market uh, look into the stack radar for today uh, today like you know uh, Unicham laboratories uh, laboratories will be in focus because that uh, the United States Food and Drug Administrative conducted an inspection at the company's Gova formulation facility from July 8 to 15. The in inspection concluded with five observations, primarily concerning uh, proced procedural changes. So basically, like you know, United States Foods and Drug Administration has conducted an uh, inspection uh, from July 8 to 15, and uh, there are observations made. Uh, and those are concerning about the procedural changes so this has to be in focus today so then comes uh, lupin the pharma major has devastated its u.s commercial women's health specialty business to U uofm bioscience uh, company so basically the lupin company has uh, 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 sold that uh, u.s uh, commercial women's health specialty business to this uh, UOFM Bioscience Company. So basically, US biopharmaceutical company focused ex exclusively on women, women's health. Lupin, uh, Lupin stands to receive up to 84 million from this divestment. So Lupin uh, will get 84 million uh, because of this divestment. So then comes uh, HUL. So HL also same kind of a same. The company board has approved the sales and divestment of its water purifier uh, biz. I mean, basically business operations under the brand uh, Purit. Basically, our uh, Hindustan Unilever is uh, going to sell its water purifier business. Uh, uh, water purifier business. So that is what uh, it is. So then comes Vedanta. The company has launched its QIP, uh, Qualified Institutional Placement Issue, on July 15th, setting a floor price of uh, 461.26 per share. So this is uh, for this will be in focus because of the QIP. So then comes Paytm. Paytm is also one of the uh, 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 what do we call? Uh, it will always be in news one of, uh, for one or the some other reason. So now also it is in focus. Uh, it receives a regulatory warning from SEBI. So this will be in focus also today. Please keep a close eye on this. So then comes uh, as it is a result season. As you all know. Uh, the stocks will be reacting to its uh, qu quarterly results so we have to keep a close eye on all these quarterly results guys so geo financial service will be in focus because of net profit raises 0.64 percent to 31.312.6 crore so the revenue falls 0.07 percent year on year so then comes uh, angel one angel one uh, profit jumps to 32 percent year on year and revenue spike 74 percent year on year so then uh, today also some of the stocks are going to announce its financial results so that we will also we will see so these are the stocks which are going to announce its uh, results uh, bajaj auto is there and bmw is there century textile is there chrysal is there and uh, hscl is there ithl is there so there are so many stocks are there which are going to announce its financial uh, results today so keep a close eye on all these things also because the moment when uh, stocks uh, are on companies are announcing or releasing its financial results the immediately the reaction uh, should come in the uh, market so then comes uh, yesterday there were uh, announced the few of the stocks were announced the financial results uh, except uh, geo financial and angel one i was unable to cover the other stocks also so let us quickly go through those things uh, MRP. I, I try to come cover only like you know kind of a, uh, a medium or long term uh, I'll ignore uh, kind of a micro cap uh, stocks or like you know some of the times I'll be covering the uh, familiar stocks as well okay so let us look into it these are the companies which uh, announced its financial results let us quickly see the page second uh, so HDFC AMC, this is also one of the familiar stocks. So uh, sales 35% up and EBIT 39% uh, up, net profit 26% up, EPS 26% up. 
So then uh, comes so Bank of Maharashtra, uh, we have already seen yesterday. So 23% year on year up, 21% EBIT up, and 47% net profit up, EPS 46% up. Yes, guys. So this is, this is what uh, for the stocks will be in focus today. Please uh, uh, watch all these stocks uh, when the market opens. So then comes uh, uh, this uh, FIS and DIS activity. activity. FIS have started uh, buying uh, the uh, equities in the cash segment uh, continuously. Uh, here and there, sometimes they used to sell, but uh, they are they are uh, continues to be a net buyers in our Indian market. So yesterday also they bought. Uh, 2684 crores in the cash segment but uh, wherein uh, DAS are like you know uh, sellers for a uh, quite uh, bit amount 331 crores so then comes uh, nifty 50 so our nifty 50 is continues to going up and continues to set the new records new records uh, every day it is uh, making the new high every day it is making the new high where it was last week uh, for few days it was truncated so but still like you know it started uh, to show its trends towards upwards so that is what uh, we can see in uh, clearly in the charts also we can see this uh, particular chart so i think uh, immediate uh, resistance will be uh, 24900 uh, to 24 25000 it may reach the immediate support would be 24400 level so that is what we have already seen 24400 and 24200 will act as a immediate support for our uh, nifty 50 and continues to going up as well so uh, nifty 50 is a very interesting phase but all the analysts are expecting it it to correct a little bit but uh, nifty 50 is uh, not even giving a chance uh, for it to correct it is continuously going up but yesterday uh, reaction was uh, quite interesting because uh, the earlier we used to saw that the reaction used to come from the heavyweight stocks like hdfc bank and reliance industries uh, something like that tcs something like that uh, but uh, yesterday it was not from uh, the sectors of heavyweight sectors but it was coming from the uh, less weight sectors like ONGC and some other uh, collaboratively from the other uh, minor minor sectors, Bajaj Auto and ONGC kind of something other stocks like that. So it is very interesting. Uh, one or the another things are supporting or contributing for the Nifty upward journey. So it is uh, continue to party, continue to going up, continues to cheering up. So we'll see that. So if you look at uh, quickly, take a look at. Uh, uh, the dozens uh, american markets uh, it has closed to positive 53 0.53 percent up and uh, nasdaq also 0.43 percent up so this is mainly because of uh, the donald trump u.s election uh, is also going on in this particular uh, i think in the september october uh, uh, range it will be there and uh, because of the trump uh, uh, impact also it is there for the market and it is uh, uh, showing its positive trends in the american market as well so this is all uh, for uh, the morning session guys uh, thank you thank you so very much for watching uh, we will try to analyze the same stocks in the evening and uh, if we get any updates in between the market hours also we will try to review those things in the evening session so thank you thank you so very much uh, if you like my content please do uh, like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys